When it comes to the devotion of seeking knowledge, there is arguably no one that shines as bright as Imam al-Nawawi. Abu Zakariya Yahya ibn Sharaf al-Nawawi, otherwise known as Imam al-Nawawi, was born in the 7th century AH in the village of Noah, Syria, considered to be one of the darkest centuries of Islamic civilization, which saw the sacking of Baghdad by the Mongols and the continued attacks on the Muslims by the Crusader armies from the west. From a young age, the Imam wasn't a typical child who liked to play. On one occasion, kids would come to taunt and tease him as he sat on the side forcing him to play with them, but he would resist and cry because he hated being away from reading the Qur'an. When a passing man saw this happen in front of him, he explained, A special love and affection developed in my heart for the young Nawawi. I approached his teacher and urged him to take exceptional care of this lad as he was to become a great religious scholar. His teacher then relayed this to his father, who he himself was a pious and virtuous man. The Imam's father decided to dedicate the life of his son to the pursuit of Islamic knowledge. When he became 18 years old, he left Noah for Damascus, which was by then the center of learning at the time. During this time, Imam and Noah we studied hadith and Islamic jurisprudence from some of the most famous scholars who were masters in their own respects. And by the age of 24, he was already teaching students of his own. His life was consumed with reading, studying, and teaching. It was said that he would be so taken with studying that he would not sleep until sleep would overcome him. He would then wake up startled and continue studying. He even said about himself, I spent two years without lying on the ground to sleep on my side. He would not waste any moments of the day or night, but he would spend it busy with attaining knowledge. Even when he is walking in the streets, he would be busy going over what he had remembered and reviewing his notes. He continued gaining knowledge in that way for a period of six years. The Imam was famous for his austerity and lack of desire for the pleasures of this world. In fact, the only things that he possessed were a turban and a long gown, and he would live his whole life without ever being married as he feared that he would not be able to fulfill the rights of his wife due to his learning desires. In the span of 12 or 13 years from when he started writing to his death, he wrote and compiled some of the most important works in the history of Islam. These works include Gardens of the Righteous, his commentary to Sahih Muslim, the 40 Ahadith, and the Book of Remembrance. These are just some of the impressive works that the Imam completed in his short life. After returning to Noah, he became ill and passed away in 676 AH at the age of 44. Imam and Noah with short life encompasses one major theme, that is, devotion to the pursuit of knowledge. His endless nights of reading, studying, and learning serve as an inspiration for Muslims to devote themselves to the Islamic sciences and fields of knowledge. May Allah have mercy on Imam and Nawawi and facilitate for us Muslims who are devoted to the pursuit of knowledge to uphold this religion. Amin. If you enjoyed this video along with all the other content that One Path Network produces, please support us so we can create more beneficial content for the world. Go to onepathnetwork.com and you can support us from as little as $1 a day. Jazakumullah khair for your support.